Welcome to Drumheller. Take a look how cool this place is. The best part about this trip is that it is March. It's unseasonably warm right now. It's supposed to be 18 degrees this weekend. If you're from America, that doesn't sound that warm, but for us, it's an absolute for spring, balmy. For spring in Alberta, it's pretty much the tropics. We're ready for short <laughs> pants out here. So we thought we'd pack up the van for our very first road trip, but don't worry, we brought Kona. Kona. Hello. You wanna go see the gophers? So the drive to get here was about three hours. The whole time, Kona has been snoozing and hanging out in the van. Um, she seems to be readjusting really well. Right now, I've got what I would consider a safety leash on her, so that when and if she decides to oh, come out. Oh. Good timing. <laughs> By the end of the weekend, you guys are either gonna be best friends with Kona or worst enemies. It is yet to be seen. Oh geez. <laughs> Kona, you're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> Kona, he's teasing you. He's taunting you over there. Okay, don't move. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where is he? Oh my god, where is he? Touching. Ah! He's baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just gonna talk to you guys inside of the van for a second because it's getting a little bit windy. I don't want the audio to get too bad. This is Horse Thief Canyon, which is one of our favorite locations apart from the mountains. It's hard to beat. But I mean, look at this view. It's pretty cool. Chelsea, look at the view behind you. I know, it's amazing every time. So the plan is to just take you with us and we'll show you what camping is like with Kona. This is Kona's second camping trip. I think we took her once last year, but it was rainy the whole time. It wasn't the greatest experience. So hopefully we get some better weather. And we're gonna also take Kona down into these hoodoos and take her for a little stroll, take some photos. And finally, I brought the FPV drone so that I can fly it out here and hopefully get some really cool shots. Kona, you got a lot of hills to climb. Okay, the name of the game is take Kona for a big long walk so that she is extremely tired and actually sleeps in the van tonight rather than crawling all over us and keeping us up all night. I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you guys probably know that cats are pretty nocturnal. So the last time we were sleeping in this van, Kona was up all night crawling all over us. Thus the need to walk her so that that doesn't happen again. Wow, well when the sun comes out and the wind stops, that's actually pretty nice. Oh my God, Kona, get out of the mud. I gotta sleep with you tonight. The best feeling when she actually follows the trail. So we get questions all the time about how we get a Kona to walk so good. And honestly, she always does best when there's a trail. And I always wear the backpack, I'm out in front. And she usually is pretty good at following me as long as Charles is in behind. And she just kind of figures out where to go. So hope that helps a little bit. to go on walks with your cat. One, if you are going somewhere and your goal is to get from point A to point B quickly, efficiently, maybe for some exercise, bringing your cat might not be the best thing. <laughs> we find that if we know we're going out to walk Kona, the walk is a little bit more about Kona than it is about us. She is pretty good at sticking to a trail and going along with us, but she definitely takes her time and it's a roundabout way of getting there. 
Do you feel better now? We have learned on our many outings with Kona that sometimes all of a sudden out of the blue she'll get fussy, she'll stop following us, she'll try to pull us in different directions and just act kind of weird. Most of the time it just means that she's got a tinkle. So once she finds a good place to go and then she's back to her normal self, she follows us, she listens again. But it's a crazy behavioral shift. That easy. And then just back on the trail, no problemo. I can't keep up! <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Going down was a lot easier than coming up. She can go up these hills so fast. Okay, but look at the freaking mountain behind you or whatever this is, that hoodoo's that behind hoodoo. you. So cool. This is seriously one of my favorite places in Alberta. I think this has got serious wow factor. It does. Especially when you have a bangle kitty. Kona appears to be very tired after her walk. Oh my god! It's actually snowing. <laughs> no, that's terrible! It's pulling back in the van! That's the exact reason why people don't go camping in March. You know, you know? <laughs> one day it's one minute it's sunny and the next minute it's blowing snow. Okay, well I think our afternoon was a total success. Now that it's snowing and windy, I think we're gonna hunker down inside, make some supper, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Well, good morning guys. It was a freezing cold freaking night last night. It even snowed even more. Look, you can see outside. It's really foggy in here. We had the, we started the van a while ago, so the windshield was cleared, but the windshield was full of snow this morning. Um, Kona has one option to sleep, two options to sleep, three options to sleep, but do you know where she chose to sleep? Taking up the entire bed. <laughs> Hello? It's still a little chilly this morning. There was snow on the ground, so we've decided to come down to scenic downtown Drumheller to get a cup of coffee as we wait for the weather to warm up a little bit. We are out this weekend because we were promised like plus 15 degrees and I got high hopes. 15, I, plus 18 degrees. 18? Well, even better. Kona, I believe, has wedged herself in here, so we gotta do the old open the door, catch the cat scenario. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kona, that's where the food goes. <laughs> Kona. Are you going for a walk or are you going to hitch a ride, Kona? Make up your mind. Five, four, three, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. No, that's up. Okay. It's so cute when she puts both little paws up there. You're being a lazy cat today, just hitching a ride. Must be nice. You little parasite. Walking a cat can sometimes be like walking a dog until all of a sudden it isn't, and it's very obvious that it's a cat. People coming up behind us, and she's definitely gonna stop in her tracks as soon as she sees them. <laughs> They're gone. Are you ready to keep walking? Come on, Kona. Come on. <laughs> Kona seems to be winding down a little bit. She's got a little bit less of a hop in her step, which is understandable. This is the longest walk we've ever been on with her. We're just waiting here for her to flop over at one point. Do you want to see a kitty that's really tired after a long walk? Oh, that's so mean. Dead to the world. Kona! officially day three of us being out here with Kona. Three of three. And this is her sixth walk probably. And look how good she's doing still. As soon as she finds a trail, she's usually stuck to it. So that's awesome to see. 
Yes. Okay, this is where it gets dangerous because she can go down a lot faster than I can. I know, I'm coming. There's just one more thing that I wanted to say about taking Kona in the van. And that's our, even our selection of weekends that we can take her out. March, like we're in, April, May, these are good times for us to take Kona with us. July and August, not so much. It starts to get really hot and we don't have that luxury of letting Kona sit in the van anymore. It's gonna be way too hot for her in there. Right now, we're so lucky that we can put food, water, and her litter box and Kona will happily stay in the van. Right now we're on a really good schedule this weekend too of getting Kona out, burning her energy, and then in the evenings, she just sleeps in her bed the whole time in the van and we don't really have to worry about her. Again, this has been luxurious because we have taken her out on many occasions where she's needed a lot more attention than that. I always think it's pretty unique that we get to bring Kona in the van, so if you guys have any questions about that, let us know in the comments below. Other than that, we're gonna go back home. So if you guys like this video and found it entertaining, please hit that like button, it actually helps us out. If you want to see more of Kona, maybe more of us, like we're okay too, then hit that subscribe button so we can see you guys next week. Bye!